So we have this big loft up here, and the only way I've been able to get up there so far has been putting a ladder on the scaffold. It's really sketchy. So what I'm going to do is build a loft lift right in this section, right up in here. So it basically consists of this frame as the backer. I just uh, stuck it on the ground here and just kind of lined it up, made sure it was all square and stuff. And I'll just space out these rails. But the key to this are these strut channels. See this? It's a U-shaped channel. So that'll get welded onto here. And inside of those are some trolleys, which look like this. There's four of them. These are designed specifically for the strut channel. So, so that just kind of sits in there like that. And that rolls up and down the trolley. There'll be two of them. One per side of the platform, which is some of that metal there. Anyways, so imagine this up on the wall like that. And then the platform goes up and down. And the whole thing that makes it work is a hoist that I have in the box over there. That'll get welded off to the side. There'll be cable running down. It'll go through this channel member. That's part of the platform. Uh, I just stuck it there to make it square. Anyways, uh, so I have pulleys that'll go up there and then the cable will run back up to a hook on that side. So that what that does is that it doubles the lifting capability. So anyways, uh, let's get this organized a little bit better and we'll tack weld it together and then we'll start measuring things out. This is the new welder I picked up. It's an inverter welder and it does MIG and it does arc welding and it also does TIG. But I'm just going to use flux core. Let me give you this spool. So let's just set it up. I also bought this welder because it has the option to run either 110 or 240 volt. And, you know, it's a short cable. Good thing I got my generator cable. There's a NEMA 1450. And it plugs into my... That used to be the charger for my car now that I have the wall connector, but I'm going to use that for a welder. Uh-oh. <laughs> Guess what? It's... Uh... <laughs> it's not a 1450. Oh well, we'll just have to use 110. Remember folks, I'm just a hobbyist. So those are my initial welds. Actually, this is the very first one I did. This is the second one I did. Uh, that's when I played with the settings and it, uh, yeah, it was too high or not quite right and it popped my breaker. So these are the settings I have on it right now. And then when I went over and tacked on this side, you can see here the welds are perfect. So I'm gonna call that for the settings on this and I'm just gonna tack weld the rest of this frame, see what happens.
So I have the frame laying on its back. And what I'm trying to do here is line up this carriage down here. And because I don't have a welding table, I have to make do here. So I'm trying to make sure that that's square right down in here. Make sure that that's flush with the bottom. Same thing over here. There we go. And then these trolleys have been bolted to here so that they're perpendicular inside the track. And then they're just held on with magnets. So I'll just tack it together and see how it works up and down to make sure that everything's parallel. Uh, once that's done, then I can uh, weld that permanently. And then I'll put, I'll put some gussets in here to hold that. And then, uh, then I'll tackle that end over there, which will be a mount for the winch, which I have over here. So this will be the winch right here. It's rated at 600 pounds by default, but because I'm passing it sort of through there and back up, it doubles the lifting capacity. So it's going to be 1,200 pounds. So that'll be mounted sort of off to the side over there. And then the cable will come down along the side through this tube. There's a pulley that goes there. So through the tube, another uh, pulley there, and then it comes up and it will hook onto here. I got an eye bolt coming and that'll hook up onto there. So ba basically when it lifts up on that side, it just uh, lifts the whole thing up. Anyways, in principle should work. So anyways, let's get welding, see what happens. attempt number two I caught my mistake I completely forgot that this bottom tube is supposed to be not riding on this so I put a 3 8 thick thick uh, Home Depot pencil in there to offset it so that this is flush with the back so it was dragging on the rail that's why it wasn't moving all right so let's uh let's weld that up tack it together anyways we'll try it again smoothly but I had to grind off all the welds here because this track was not 100% <laughs> the same distance so if you're ever building one of these I would suggest you build the trolley first and then weld the tracks on with the trolley in them so that you get the spacing just right so anyways that's super critical I tried shimming that didn't work so I just took the welds off and now it's working well so now that it's working what I'll do is I'll just kind of put it in position wherever it's tight and I'll pull it a little bit and I'll just tack weld it again, double check it, and then once it's good, we'll weld it all together again.
and I'm using these GRK bolts, structural bolts, six and a half, I don't know, six, six and a half inches long, right into the stud. Don't use lag bolts, GRKs. And then down here on the floor, I've got holes for these 3-8 anchor bolts. Those will go down here in the concrete. This is just temporary. I'm going to lengthen this cable once we're done. Now this has a remote control, so you press the start button, flashes, and then... Okay, folks, this is the first time I'm going to use the lift. Let's see how it goes. I've made sure that all my bolts are secure and the slack is taken up. Here goes nothing. Start up. my garage rail and it's just at the top I have to make some kind of emergency stop right there to kick off where that stop is either that or I'll just eyeball it for now and keep an eye on that pulley but otherwise it seems to work when it goes down I think I just need to grease things up let's put some weight on it and test it out I'm not ready to ride this yet but I'm gonna put some weight on it let me see what can I put on there start perfect I know some of you are probably asking what are you going to do with the platform when you're not using it because it doesn't fold well I'm just gonna store it in the upper positions out of the way so yeah I don't know, should I ride it? Maybe I should ride it. I don't know. Let me grease up the bearings first and then uh, I'll give it a roll. <laughs> Putting a lot of faith in these GRKs. <laughs> yeah, it works.
works good. It's got to sit on this side here because, you know, garage things in the way, but that's okay. That's the whole idea. <laughs> I love it. It works. <laughs>